Everybody. Welcome to another episode of Point Boy Plays, and in this episode, I'm going to be playing the classic Mayhem in Monsterland for the Commodore 64. This was released by Apex Computer Productions in 1993. Now, this is a great game. I love this one, guys. Absolutely, I think this is an absolutely brilliant game. Uh, I remember playing this one back in the day. Uh, uh, and uh, as you call, call 1993, this was a very late Commodore 64 release. Um, I, I remember, I remember this one. You could only get this one by mail order. And uh, and the thing, the things I do remember this game uh, very, very, very well because uh, we, because at the time uh, we were getting a, we, were, we still had a we still had our Commodore one to eight. We had an Amiga as well. Uh, but um, but I remember we used to get. Um, Commodore format, and um, they used to, um, you know, produce like de developer diaries for this game, document uh, documenting uh, what the uh, what the coders were doing and things, and um, and of course the game, and of course you know, they hyped it up quite a lot, uh, quite a lot, and they did like they released like several demos, obviously uh, you know, they they released like several demos of this game, I remember, and. Uh, and you know we used to sit, we used to, and we used to, me and my brother used to um, play the demos quite a lot, and we thought it was an awesome game. Um, and uh, the final, and of course the game came out. Uh, it was only available by, by my order, so we ordered it. Um, ordered it. We actually uh, we actually uh, <coughs> ordered the disc version of the game. And and yeah, we haven't looked back since. We think it's. This is this is probably one one of the finest games on the Commodore 64. Um, so and um, well, what makes it so good? Well, pretty much well, quite a lot of things really. Um, things, yeah, 1993, the 16 bits were uh, all the rage. Uh, Mega Drive, the Commodore Amiga, and uh, and of course the uh, stuff like the IBM PC and whatnot, the Super Nintendo. Um, yeah, they were doing all around, so the Commodore 64 started to look a bit old and dated. Um, so, out, so um, but of course, you know, developers were still making games for it, and you could say this was kind of the Commodore 64's little swan song, and it's it is an absolutely superb little game. Um, but what but what's so good about it? Well, uh, for a start, the, the, the graphics are really. Really, the graphics are, you know, I mean, obviously, um, it's a bit dark, obviously, it's dark, gritty, and whatnot at the moment. Um, but, uh, but the graphics are really nicely drawn, yeah. The your little sprite animator in there is really, it's, uh, really nicely done. done. And, but yeah, it, but you can tell he's a complete rip off of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, you can just tell by the face and the, the spikes on the back, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised. Um, I'm surprised that uh, Sega didn't get the lawsuits on the uh, Apex. <laughs> yeah, um, and believe it or not, there's even the power up that you can actually get used to. Um, there's even the power up that you can actually make and use to actually run faster as well. Yeah, you can tell this. You can tell what. You can tell this. This game's definitely heavily inspired by Sonic and Mario. Um, but yeah, um, oh, come here, you. Hey. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah. Music wise, music's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, gra graphically, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, it actually um, uses a bug in the Commodore 64. Uh, Commodore 64's wrong to actually allow it to scroll full screen. Screen. Um, obviously, it doesn't really quite full screen here because the Commodore 64's resolution. Oh, bugger! Still no one. Got all the magic. Uh, let's make it way back. Yeah, basically, um, each level is uh, split up into two sta stages. You've got, um, first, you know, you've got the uh, unhappy land, you've got the uh, status where it's unhappy. Um, unhappy, and basically, you only have to go and collect all the magic uh, magic stardust and bring them back to uh, bring them over to this new exit here. You can see you've got the arrows going down. 
Now, and then the next, and then the next stage, you have to, um, and then basically the next part of it is, it's basically status, happy status. You have to go around collecting, uh, collecting a certain number of stars, and then make your way to the exit. Anyway, so let's go down the little hole, and there's Matey, your little, uh, Matey the big dinosaur. Okay, well done, Mayhem. You have collected enough magic dust for me to spread across Jelly Land. I can now make it a happy place once more. Yay! This was Jelly Land I was trying to save. <laughs> anyway, let's go. And status is happy. Now I love these little uh, start a uh, little start these little screens here. The power up scrolling on the you know, on the little screen there is really quite something for Commodore 64, and because it's quite colourful, but not as colourful as this. Hey, look at all look at all this splashes of colour. Um colour, it looks absolutely amazing. And uh, there's another there's an, uh, there's some more bit colour bit of program trickery going there as well, whereby they uh, they actually um they sort of mix two different colours together to create all new colours that you think the Commodore 64 could not display. And yeah, it it really is quite something this game. Um I say graph say graphically it looks amazing, it's really colourful, it's not a Commodore 64 game. It looks really amazing. amazing. Um, but yeah, it is an absolutely superb game. Yeah, the game, yeah. Well you know, it it got this game got a lot of high um, high praise from the magazines at the time. Uh, Commodore format obviously themselves, you know, they had to, they had to give it hundred percent. Uh, even but even Zap sixty four gave it ninety seven and said it was an absolutely amazing swan song and it, it is. It's it's a really playable little game. And it, it's technically fantastic. Um, but of course it doesn't just look terrible. Oh Christ. It doesn't just uh, look amazing, it plays amazing as well. Hey, there we go. Yeah, it's the speed up speed up in action. Uh, yeah, but don't do that. <laughs> Unless the panic's gone in the background. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, the whole game just looks really, really amazing. And it's just a great little game. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely adore this one. So anyway, let's try and see if I can get to the end of the level. I don't think there's many stars this way, actually. I don't know why I'm going this way. Oh, Christ. Uh, well, it's game over anyway. Um, anyway, Mayhem in Monsterland, fantastic game. Absolutely love this one to bits, um, guys. Uh, so if you, yeah, so what? If it, so if you got a Commodore 64, definitely seek this one out. This game was re-released a couple of years ago. There you go. So it's not as hard to get a copy of the game now as it as it was back then, because back then it was only available through mail order. Um, but yeah, we got an original disc. We've actually still got the original disc, and um, yeah. Uh, it's a fantastic game. Yeah, if you have it, yeah, if you got Commodore 64, seek this one out or download uh, download the disc image. Uh, disc image. It's an absolutely stunning game, and one I wholeheartedly recommend. Um, anyway, uh, as per usual, don't forget to check out on my fusion at www.onmyfusion.com. Uh, check out the website. Check out the podcast as well. Uh, don't forget to sign up to get access to access to exclusive content. And I should be back soon with another video. And in the meantime, goodbye for now. Things like this, things like that. It's all good in the long run. Cool, and uh, of course they just... Oh. Bloody Vodafone.